What's up guys? It's obviously been a while since I posted, so I just want to apologize for that. First off, I've been wanting to get out and make some videos, but I had an earache and I could barely hear. But thankfully, that's pretty much cleared up now. Happened right as we were going on a little family vacation too, so that kind of cut into that. But it's all good. I still had a lot of fun. Got to spend some time with my siblings, so that was cool. But yeah, sorry I've been keeping you guys waiting, or not. Maybe you've ditched me by now, but hopefully not. I've just been kind of going over a lot of stuff lately. The main thing I've been thinking about is just the size of my camper. As much as I love all the space in there, it's just been a lot for my truck to handle. And I'm actually going to have to pull it out here in the next couple days and uh, change the brakes because they're very squeaky. So, yeah. Because when I built my camper, just being on the time frame of moving out of my house at the time, I was pretty rushed and didn't really hold back on the weight or anything. So, didn't have electricity. So it could have used a lot more planning, but in the time that I moved out till now, it's definitely shown me what I need and what I don't need. So yeah, basically what I'm thinking is I'm gonna try to build something a little smaller and something that has electricity and just try to be a little more thorough with everything. This way I could actually go out and use my truck's potential a little more, get like out in those back country type of campsites. But with the camper I have on there now, just makes it a little too sketchy to want to do that but anyway yeah that's what's been going on lately but i'm glad to be out making this video talking to you guys again and if you can't tell by the title of this video i'm gonna try to go out in the meantime and just do a little trip on my motorcycle have an adventure cook some stuff out in the woods so yeah i appreciate you guys and i will see you soon oh no not in the beginning of the video. <laughs> Check out this view though, guys. Isn't that pretty? So right now I'm actually headed over to my dad's shop. That way I can pull my truck camper out of my truck. It's been a while since I put it in there, so hopefully I can get it out without any problems. Yeah, see you guys over there. Okay. Chill out a little bit. Thank you, though. All right. Here we go. I kind of forgot a drill, so thankfully I found this thing, and it fits on these bolts right here. So I'm gonna unscrew them real quick and move them down, and then get to lifting it. We did it, guys. <laughs> that is a beast, man. Now I just gotta slowly try to get this thing a little lower to the ground, because obviously that's not gonna work. All right, I guess we'll roll with it. Sweet. This was a fun little spot and I'll still probably take it out at some point in the future. I'm just wanting to go out a little further across the country and I don't want to spend an arm and a leg on gas if I don't have to. So I am burning up. So I am gonna get packed up 
And then tomorrow morning, go get some stuff and get ready to go on a little motorcycle trip, which I am excited for. I will catch you guys in the morning and go on an adventure. Good morning, guys. I am headed over to Walmart to just grab a couple things real quick and then I'm gonna run over to my bike, pack it up, and hit the road. Got a little one person backpacking tent and a couple things to make some food. Hopefully, I can fit all this on my bike. We'll see about it. Some blue skies and no rain in the forecast. That's about all I could ask for. Isn't it weird seeing my camper just sitting on the ground like that? Crazy, man. All right, let's see what all I can fit in this thing. I actually got some Wagyu beef because this was only like seven bucks at Walmart. And I know it's not like legitimate Wagyu, but I'm still curious what it tastes like. So I went ahead and got that so I can give it a try. Passenger back here. As long as it rides okay, we're good though. I think that's gonna go in there. So I'm gonna be heading out to a park called Sand Ridge State Forest, I believe was the name of it. And it's actually where Al Capone used to go and do some hunting and stuff like that, I guess. It's kind of interesting. Going to Al Capone's old stomping grounds. <laughs> I've never taken my bike out to do something like this, so I'm kind of nervous, guys. <laughs> Just hope it all works out well. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I think I can manage. Oh, yeah, buddy. up to this gas station right up here. Oops. Eight bucks. That's what I'm talking about. Definitely a little different having all this stuff on you. <laughs> Everything seems solid so far, guys. <laughs> this backpack is actually riding really well right there. Wow, guys, it is an amazing day for this. Such beautiful weather. Goofy Ridge Road. Here we go, guys. Pond Campground. Probably not used to seeing motorcycles pull back in here. This is beautiful, guys. I'm hoping that there's like a little spot I can kind of be out of the way. Oh my gosh, look at that. No way. Perfect. Check it out, guys. Definitely a lot different than uh, coming out to places with my truck camper, but 
now I know this would be a pretty legit spot to come truck camping at. And it's only $8 a night. It's not bad. This is just a little one person backpacking tent. But it's honestly a little smaller than I thought it would be. 30 bucks at Walmart. This is going to be sick. And I hope I'm putting this together right. Check it out guys. I got a nice little campfire chair now. It says like 250 pound weight limit. So that should be good. Let's go see what they got around these parts. This is called Pine Campground. And if you can't tell why, I'm gonna hike down this ways, see if I can find some trails. And then I'm gonna go back and make some dinner here soon. Cause I am I've been walking for a bit and the only trail-ish type of thing that I've seen is right back here. It's kind of overgrown though, so I don't know if this is like an official trail. We'll see. Look at these pines though. Just kind of unique. You don't really see pine forests very often, so it's cool when you do. Okay, this is getting a little too overgrown. I want to go back there. Probably gonna hike back, see if I can find some trails along the way. And if not, start gathering up some wood, try to get enough stuff for a little fire. But if I can find a trail, then try to do a little, a little more hiking first. This is sick, guys. Sand Ridge State Forest Headquarters. I was gonna walk up there and see if anyone was there so I could pay, but I forgot my wallet. <laughs> I seriously could not have asked for a better evening to do this. So beautiful out. But anyway, I'm gonna start looking for some sticks. Try to get a fire put together. Oh yeah. Gotta love the snap of a pine branch. Unless you're climbing a pine tree. I've definitely done that before. That was not fun. How are we doing? Hey, good. How about you? I like that bike. Thank you, sir. Nobody's got you caught up or registered yet? They have not, no. How, or, how late are you staying until tomorrow? I come here at 8. Can I get you squared away then? Sounds good, yeah. I've yep. been busy clearing a tree off the road. Or that's my excuse, and I'm sticking to it. I hear you. If you have a good evening, I'll catch you tomorrow. Sounds good. Would Thank you. Would you like you. some firewood? Uh, how much is it? Three. Oh. Uh, some people ask for some, and I didn't want to. And the name says it all, Sand Ridge, it's nothing but sand. It's a cool place, it's its own unique ecosystem. Orange Trail right over there, five mile trail. We have bad country sites out there, 12 of them. It's a cool place. All right, have a good night. Thank you. Just gave me some firewood. I've never been to a campground where they give you free firewood. Nice. I appreciate you. This thing is a lifesaver for these types of trips. This is what I'm working with today. I've always wanted to see what Wagyu beef was like. Eventually I'll try the, the real Wagyu, but we're working with some budget Wagyu today. Let's do this. I'm gonna save a little bit of this for in the morning so I can throw it in my breakfast skillet. Should be plenty left over though. stick. Smelling mighty fine.
delicious. Look at all the juice coming out of them. Those look so good. I think they're ready to be flipped. Give it a shot. Oh yeah. That one wasn't quite there, but yeah, should be okay. Just gotta finish cooking up these burgers, and then I'm gonna start the campfire. Literally saw it falling out of the corner of my eye. I think these guys are done. Wow. So glad I remembered onion. There's nothing better on a burger. Some cheese, some onion, in the fried egg. <laughs> My brother got me into Royale burgers. We went out to eat somewhere together and he was like, oh man, you gotta try Royale burger. And then I did and I never went back. There's just, <laughs> it's so good. You guys gotta try it. Just fry up your burger and then cook a quick little egg. Man, I can't lie. I'm having a really hard time waiting for these eggs. That looks amazing. I can still see that juice in there. Man, I am so. <laughs> no! <laughs> Oops. Oh, I just melted my, my bag. Dang. Look at that. All right, guys, here we go. This is so good. It doesn't have a crazy different taste, but I can definitely feel like the texture feels a little different. It feels more like buttery almost. <laughs> And I did cook it in butter, but it's so juicy, delicious, man. This is probably the quickest I've ever eaten two burgers. Somehow that one's better. Wow. Man, those were really good. But let's go ahead and get this fire going. Dang, see that guys? That's how easy it is to start a forest fire. Cause this is all pine out here. This chair is honestly so comfortable. It's got the perfect amount of recline so you can just kind of sit back. <laughs> I'm glad I got this thing. This is awesome. I love doing this type of thing. There's just so much beauty out in nature. It's just nice. Relaxing.
the darker it gets, the prettier fire gets, man. It's so mesmerizing. I could just stare at it. It's pretty. Oh my gosh. Oops. Definitely pretty different than what I've been doing lately. But I, uh, it's cool to get out on my bike finally. I'm having fun. I was hoping to do this with my friend Trent, but his bike is not really working right now. One of these days here soon, we'll go out together and make a video. That'd be fun though. We'll make it happen. Zippers. I don't know if it's the way I have the tent position, but it doesn't like uh, going down at the bottom part. Just gonna hook these up, get a little vibe going on in here. It's kind of warm though. I'm gonna set this fan up real quick. Thanks again for this fan, Venti. It's been amazing in my camper since I don't have air conditioning. Somehow I got couple ants in here. It's kind of gross. There we go. Sweet. Look at that, guys. I'm going to probably lay my sleeping bag out, but I don't have a pillow, so I'm just going to lay with it up on my head for now. This is nice, though. Cozy little vibe. That fan feels amazing. I'm glad I brought that thing. I'm going to kick it, and I will catch up with you guys in the morning. It's a good day. Good morning guys. It is almost seven o'clock. To be honest, I didn't sleep that great. <laughs> I slept okay for the first like half of the night and then I think my little mattress thing kinda deflated a little bit. So I was just tossing and turning. But hey, still had fun, so <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> Let's get up and go make some breakfast guys. Beautiful morning, guys. I wonder what the temperature is. It's 65 degrees. That's amazing. It's all the water I have, so. I want a little bit of coffee. All right. is growling.
this is ready too. Man, it feels amazing now. Cheers, guys. Mmm, straight black coffee. Are looking tasty. I think these are ready for now. It's so good. Can't stop eating them. All right, get this meat on there. Thankfully, there hasn't been any mosquitoes really this morning. I was gonna do another egg, but this is more than enough right here. The smell is making my mouth water like crazy. Breakfast skillets are basically my favorite thing that you can make for breakfast. They're just so tasty, you know? Check it out, guys. That is gorgeous. Let's give it a try. That is so good. I wasn't expecting it to be that tasty better than some of the breakfast skillets I get when I go out to eat. And I'm not like bragging or anything, that, that surprises me. <laughs> so hot though. The only thing that would make it better is if I had some water. Wow, that hit the spot. I'm gonna finish up eating and then clean everything up and probably take off. There's a gas station a little ways up the road, so I'm gonna run there and get some water because I'm feeling thirsty. Then head on back for now. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video though. I love being out doing stuff like this. It's beautiful. But I will talk to you guys here in just a few minutes.
Gotta get one on the other side so it doesn't pull it off over here. Sweet. Let's hit it, fam. That was so much fun. <laughs> I'm loaded to the brim right now. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Go ahead and see about paying. This is a <laughs> not the road for a bike, man. I don't trust these. Oh my gosh. Oh, my whole crate fell. No! At least it fell now and not when I was on the road. <laughs> I was coming up here and my thing fell off. Ah, uh, what's that? <laughs> no, you're fine. I just gotta pull those bungees off there real quick and then just reset it. Can I just give you the, the money? A lot of times I'll wait till 9 o'clock until we go down there because I don't want to wake people right, up. Right, right. You got things to do. You don't want to wait around. <laughs> I, owe, I owe you four hours. I have it. Alright, that's it. Oops. I'm doing better now. I got my hat on. There you I go. I turned into a vampire of my old age. <laughs> uh, you need help with this? I should be okay. You want to get over on level ground or anything? If you need any help, let me know. I'll be up here for a little bit. My name is Mike. You ever here again? Mike. Need anything? Right. I'll help you out. That's what I'm supposed to do. I'm Andrew, by the way. Andrew, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you Wish too. I could say, be safe. And Thank you. I will. Sometime. satellite view of this place and really I couldn't point a lot of things for you oh that'd be awesome full force to be able to navigate your way through it yeah in the beginning i was discombobulated <laughs> right right discombobulated. for sure yeah it's beautiful out here i'll definitely be back hey, it's good to meet you. yeah you as well thanks mike hey, Barnett, I, hope to see you. I will thank you i'll be back all right guys super nice guy if you ever get a chance to come out here come up to the headquarters and say hey Attempt the number two. <laughs> this is uh this is sketchy. Oh my gosh. You guys probably heard, but he was saying he had like an aerial map of this place. But I uh once I finish my truck camper, I might actually come back out here and go up there and check that out. Actually be able to see where the trails are. And for eight bucks, I mean that was a ton of fun though guys. And I hope this was a enjoyable little adventure for you guys. It was for me, that's for sure. It's a beautiful day. Oh hey, they got a porta potty if you needed to stop. I'm just about back, so I'm gonna head back to the shop grab my truck so I will see you guys later thanks for watching I appreciate all you guys see you next time